Hello everyone. I'm going to try to do a quick video before my son comes and asks for something or something happens. So let's see if I can do this real quick. I haven't been able to do it. It's just the timing. Two year old, five year old. It's kind of hard. But anyways, here we go. This is one of the, um, the, 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 the junk journals, sorry, that I am doing. I just finished one of these. I have three that I was working on and I am a couple of things on one, but yeah, I got two down, one more to go pretty much. And anyways, I just, uh, I used a 13 by 10 um, class envelope and uh, I cut it down to make it eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. If I'm not mistaken, yes, eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. And I just used this um, ribbon, I guess, on it. I like the way it look, kind of matches with the flower there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, as far as these little furry things, I'm still debating to leave them there or take them off. What do you guys think? See, I was to cover it. I don't know. I'll see. Thinking about it. Let me know, guys. But anyways, let's go real quick here. So this is the first page. Here's the inside pocket. And I just got a... I think these are uh, Prima tags. And this is just a little um, notebook paper that I coffee dyed. Put in there. And then I did some corner stamping. Here's another page. I'm going to try not to get into too much detail so I could do it fast. But if you guys have any questions and I didn't answer something you needed to know or want to know, let me know. And this one here. This is just a tag. Got some paper there. And I'll pull out the collection right now to let you guys know some of the papers that I use. But the cover are from uh, Tim Holtz collection. This is um, Graphic 45 tags. And this, is, this paper in the back is also Tim Holtz. And I got a lot of these uh, ephemeras are from uh, Tsunami Rose. And these little ones are from uh, Bow Bunny. I, I can't remember the collection. I'll look it up right now. But yes, yeah, just these two here. They just... They came out a little chunky, by the way. Look at that. I was trying not to, but it's kind of hard. And here's the next page. This is Graphic 45. Just did a little uh, flower. Used my Cricut to cut different sizes of uh, flowers. And um, yeah, that's a little button. And here's another page. I did a cut, uh, fussy cut around the rose. And these are just little tags I made these tags and this is from Tsunami Rose as well and here's this page and the paper like I said it's from DCWV I just don't remember the name of the actual collection but I'll show it at the end of the video so you guys can see and these are just little I think I got this from uh, Pinterest Actually, both of them for Pinterest. Here's one of my famous pockets. But I did change the button. I don't know if you guys remember on my tutorial, I had a black button on top of a. Oh, uh, it was two things together a button and something else. I can't remember. But, anyways, it was too bulky, so I took it off because it was already getting too fat. And I just replaced it with a small little, little button there. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's another one, just some tags here. These are the new little um, coin envelopes I started making too, which I want to show you guys in a video separately. But this one I uh, covered it with a napkin, paper napkin. And I like the way that came out. And it's made out of a book cover page. 
And so you have, you can make all kinds of sizes. Did I put anything in this one? Uh, no. But yeah, it's made out of a pa uh, paper page. Book page, sorry. I even started making all kinds of sizes. See, here's another one. I also uh, used a book page. So if anybody wants to know how these were made, let me know. I can make a tutorial. But I wanted to do a little video and just show these. Okay. Going back to the book. Then this one. And a little tag there and a big tag here. Another of these uh, little famous pockets that I did a tutorial on. But this one actually I made it out of paper. I did it like the where I got the idea from. Oh god, I should have written her name. Okay, I'm gonna put it below so you guys will know. It wasn't my idea. Uh well the other book page was my idea, but anyways, let's stop with that. I'm gonna put her name where I got her idea because it's originally it was her idea. I just can't pronounce her name and I can't remember too, so yeah. I'll write it on the bottom better, play it safe that way. <laughs> Sorry guys. Anyways, here's another page. Just put a dolly and some more of that paper, a little flower. And then I have this page here. More little tags here. Another one of those little pockets. This one here, I put this lace here. I think this lace is so pretty. And then I added this other little side trim there and just inserted a tag in there, Prima tag. And then this is the paper and, and I had a couple of cutouts. So this is one of the cutouts from the uh, book collection. So I just added it there. And this one, I tried to leave some empty pages because I did a lot of covering to, you know, with this paper. So I wanted to leave some space for journaling. All of these uh, pages, I left them blank too. Here's another one, which I should do some corners on this one too. Anyways, here's this one, Graphic 45. This is actually, this piece is actually from another paper collection. And then this is uh, for Bow Bunny. And this is from Tsunami Rose. Which is the first time I purchased from Tsunami Rose and I loved it. Just got a lot of fun, cool stuff. So I think I'll be purchasing more stuff from her. I got five uh, ephemera, uh, I guess, kits. Yeah, I love them. Here's another one, it's a pocket. Here's one of my stamps that I made, and this was from Tsunami Rose. And this actual picture here is from Tsunami Rose. I just backed it with some book page, to the book page. This is Tsunami Rose. Every ephemera I think is pretty much from Tsunami Rose. Here's this one. I just put this lace. I uh, hot glued it. This is where both signatures meet. I just wanted to cover that seam, I guess, that's there. So I ended up doing this. I was going to leave this open to use it as a tuck, but it's too small. So I ended up just leaving it like that. But I like the way that looks. So yes, that's my cover up for my seam binding. Then there's, for my seam binding, <laughs> for my two signatures. Tsunami Rose, Tsunami Rose, Bow Bunny. Graphic 45 paper. No, 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 Tim Holtz paper, sorry. Here I, I uh, this is from the paper collection. I just did like a little belly band and just inserted these in there. This little envelope, I got it from uh, Pinterest, and it's just blank. It's cool because you can journal in there, and it closes it, and it's a little envelope. I thought that was cute. <coughs> Sorry. If anybody likes it and is interested, I I have a board on Pinterest. I'm under Patricia Viramontes, and just go to uh, Vintage Ephemera, and you'll find it in there. And then this is from uh, Tsunami Rose. That just goes in here. Hold on, give me a second. Let mommy finish real quick, okay? Hold on. My son. 
Anyways, here's another tuck. This is from Priba. Another tuck here. Here I went out of my comfort zone. I actually used a lace with yellow. I never use really colorful stuff. I'm sure you guys have noticed on my videos. I don't know. I just feel like I it doesn't go. So, <coughs> excuse me. This doily when I do, uh, dyed it somehow it got a little yellowish. So I figured, what if I put, you know, some yellow trim and I like it. You know, but I, I ain't gonna lie, I thought about it and I thought about it because I don't usually use color, color like that, colorful stuff, especially a yellow, but anyways, yeah, I went out of my comfort zone, but I'm okay, I like it. I'm not sure how we doing it again though, but I want to. Here's a huge tag, and this is from another paper, paper collection. And here's uh, one of my tags that I made. Now here I used, uh, I glued two book pages together and then I tore it up, distressed the heck out of it. And then I put a piece of uh, a paper napkin in there and just mod podged it there. And then I made these little flowers. I had a lot of little pieces of uh, lace. I cut them up in circles and glued them together with a button and distressed them. I like how that came out. So yes. They look old. I like that. The old stuff. Then we have this page here. Another one of those papers. Here's one of these um, banners. Little corner strap in here. Tim Holtz. <coughs> oh my goodness. I think I'm getting sick. Here I use another book page. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Folded it in three and just made a little tuck. Put some trim. This is like a crochet um, trim, I guess. And then I put this piece of lace on top. And then just put this. This was a button that I cut the bottom, the back part off. And just made it into a tuck. I thought that was cool. I like that. Uh, prima. Here's another one of those uh, famous um, coin envelopes that I made. Here's this. I also used a, a paper napkin. Let me see if I put anything. Oh, I did. I actually put something on this one. <laughs> so these were cool. I gotta make some more. I'm just gonna make like a bunch and just leave them there. But when I need them, they're done. <coughs> Then I, uh, I also did this corner the same as the other one, two pages and a uh, paper napkin, and then I made this flower, but this one I added this other piece on the bottom. Here I just decided to do some stamping. I don't really stamp a lot of like flower stuff, but I like those butterflies. I had them in my stash. I said I gotta put them in there, and I thought it would look nice with the flowers there and I just added some trim here and this is a uh, uh, ephemera from uh, Tsunami Rose here again <coughs> so using this paper collection <coughs> I've had it for a while I've used some pages but these are blues I don't like I said I don't really use colors uh, and uh, I've seen so many junk journals and they're beautiful so I I wanted to try so I added added it to this book give me a second hold on hold on hold on here take this go play with this go show Alyssa go almost done so I made this quick little tag popped it into these flags here little flower <clears throat> another huge tag another little flower I made Give me a second, okay? Give me a second. Mommy almost done. This one, this large tag is from Bo Bunny. And this one here. You're taking my bread, aren't you? <laughs> here again, this is one of the ones that ended up getting yellowish. 
Not sure what happened to those, or, but anyways. This is from Tsunami Rose, so I figured it goes there and they just stamped, stamped the corners. So here's another yellow one. Then we have this one here. This is from Bow Bunny. It's a tag. I didn't glue it down because I wanted to leave space for journaling. But it's from Bow Bunny. <coughs> Bow Bunny also. Same collection. And then just some paper there. Then I have this one. This is also Bow Bunny's. And I just... Actually, it was a large tag. I just piano inside I folded it because it's kind of like a little book there so I figured I'm ah, gonna fold it <laughs> Tim Holtz paper this is from Tsunami Rose it just used some uh, book pages to make a pocket little flower there and these are Tsunami Rose this is the only one that's mine these are Tsunami Rose from the one of the kits I purchased. Then I have another belly band here <coughs> that I created with uh, one of the printouts of Tsunami Rose and then just added this tag for Prima. And I just put some uh, some lace uh, around it. I thought it would go make it look all pretty. <laughs> And then this one here, just added this lace here. I kind of dyed it with coffee, I don't know if you can tell. It has some stains there, but just to kill the blue a little. I liked it, I like how it came out. Just add a little flower here, and this is from Tsunami Rose. Here I use red, my red roses. I like how those look. Same paper collection. This is from Graphic 45 and just a piece of paper and I just use this lace to as a pocket. Mind ways. And this is the pack. I left it blank. Just stamped some corners here. And you still have the pocket in here. And I just inserted this. These I got them from, from a book that I uh, took the guts out. And I had a lot of images of uh, old letters and stuff. And I backed them with, you know, um, paper, the coffee dye paper in the back, and then distressed them in the front and kind of put that uh, puzzle glue thing. I can't remember what it's called. But uh, it's right here, actually. I put this thingy. And uh, yeah, just to give it an old look. I like the way those came out. But yeah, they're from a book. I just put some lace on the bottom right here. And did I show that page? I think I did, right? I hope I didn't jump pages. Anyways, on the front I added a little bit of lace to, to the bottom. I forgot to show that. But yeah, that's my book. That's it. This is a uh, my little baby I made. I haven't made any of these big ones in a lot. I never made one actually. I've made little ones, but never a big one. I don't remember, did I? Anyways, I loved it. I want to do some more. Let me show you real quick the book collection. I mean, the paper collection I used. This is a paper collection that I used, if anybody's interested. I've had it forever, and I've used it. But like I said, there's just some colors I don't too powerful see like this stuff is just too powerful I don't know mommy. I like the collection uh, mommy. so ask me why I bought it if I didn't use it I don't know <laughs> anyways well that was all for today thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon bye bye god bless